Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and in this one of tutorial, we're trying to see a very simple powerful Python package called Vulture that allows us to find or use classes, functions and variables in your Python program, right? So in case you write a Python program and you need to find all the dead codes or the unused codes, you can use this particular tool. So it's very, very useful when you're trying to refactor your Python code. Now let's see how to work with this. So first of all, to install it, just go with pip install Vulture. So let's try to install this pip install Vulture. Yes. Then you install it. I've already installed it, so we move, move straight away to the other stuff. So let's check the various features that come with it. So it's going to be Vulture. Right, then you just go with cash dash help. We're going to list all the various things you can do with it. And how to use it. Perfect. We have several of them. We have the Vulture, the particular position, particular option, these options, then the parts or the part to the file that you have. Very interesting, very simple. So you can even make a white list. You can sort by size. So sort or use functions and class by their lines of code, right? How many lines of code they are? Very interesting. So let's see how to look at it. So I'm just going to reduce it here, right? So that we will see how to look at it. So the first one is that inside my file, my location, here, I have several files here. I have this example file here, example one, example two, and all of, all of these Python code. I want to be able to see any of the unused stuff you realize that we have an import os and an import system here but if you check this place this class i never called it i never used it so i want to be able to detect whether this there is some unused classes functions and variables inside it it's going to be vulture then the name of the file this is going to be example one example right dot pi okay so from here it's, it's able to tell me that we have an unused Input right from here, right? Unused input OS on use system, and it's going to give us a confidence. So it is 90% sure that these were these were not used. And again, we also have a class which was not used, right? Although I define the class by no use. So in case I call the class, so let's make it like EMP1, so I apply one, then I create I use I call it I create a class, right? Class object. So let's call it as John. Then John is 24. Perfect. So now if I go back here and I check this code, let's run it again. Perfect. See that now it is no more telling me that the class employer is not used. Rather, it is being used here, but the, the variable employer is the one that is not being used. It's able to identify even the particular data type it is. Right? That is a variable. The variable here is not being used, the data structure rather. It's not being used, right? But the class is being used here. Very interesting. Very, very powerful to use now let's see some other stuff so let's say i have the import system here in case i use the import system somewhere it's going to commit it that's one way of opening it in case i want to sort it by the number of size right this the number of lines i'm going to do that it's going to be the same option then i'm going to go with that that sort by size because the code is almost similar you may not see the difference so we have line one line line one like line one 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 right so that is how we're going to sort it we're going to sort it by the same thing it's almost the same thing that's why we are not seeing any difference very interesting okay so that is not all well, let's try it on something broader a broader program it's going to be the same thing instead of example one let's go with something right broader so we have our registry which we have been using then let's run it and see perfect so from here you can see that all these codes we have some you know, use functions here Right, this is unused. This is unused, this is unused, this is unused, this is unused. The reason it's giving me unused is that this is a CLI, and that's why it's not used, right? That is why it's giving me this stuff and it's telling me that it's unused. So that's how to work with this powerful package. A very simple tool. There's also another tool called coverage that allows us to do something similar, right? So we'll check on that later. So thank you for watching this tutorial. In case you have any question or contribution, you can just please in the comment section below and then check the link below for some interesting links to help you in Python. Thank you and stay blessed.